welcome to another video on the Enchanted Base Them. If you're new here, hello, hi there, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my spooky spoonies. Today's video, my friends, we are doing another decor hunting video. Last week's video was a little depressing for me. Even editing, I was like, oh, that is not it, friends. It's starting to rain. Do, do you hear that? Well, it's starting to rain. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing this on my phone. <laughs> but yeah, last week's video was just a little bit depressing. We didn't find what I thought we would find. So I'm at another at home. This one I usually have really good luck at. And their website said there was more in stock at this one. None of it is allowed for pickup though. It's showing all of it, it's in-store purchase only. So I'm wondering if that's the way it's gonna be all season where you can't do buy online pickup in store, which kind of suck. But we'll see, um, I'm hopeful at least that the website is correct and what they show in stock is actually here. So let's just head inside and fingers crossed. Yep, it is most certainly raining. You like my little cat umbrella? <laughs> I think it's fun. All right, let me get inside. <laughs> Look, friends. They have all their, a lot of their outdoor stuff. There's, looks like there's skulls. The raven this year. They had that last year. I think they had the tree last year. The cat. You can see, kind of see them up top. That's awesome. Also, look, we found it. <laughs> All right, so just a little shelf so far. These signs, I think they had something very similar to that last year. Um, it's like, oh, yes, okay, so sorry, I'm skipping ahead. Look at this little broom, this little basin. This is what I came for. This is another item, so. Wow, that's totally worth $4.99. Just gonna say that. I also came for this sign. This is gonna be a year-round thing for me because, hello, Garden Witch. Then they have a bunch of these different wood cutouts. Hopefully you can hear me because um, lady overhead is really loud. Ow, a little candle holder, that's cute. This is super adorable too. I already have some little witch shoes from last year, so. $8.99, I think I'm gonna pass on this for now. I might change my mind later in the season, we'll see. It's really cute. And then of course we have the little the broom. And then I really do like this cauldron candle. This is what I was looking for last week. But it's $10.99. I don't know if I'm gonna spend eleven dollars for a cauldron candle. I have so many little cauldrons like that size anyway. <laughs> Mushroom eyeball. Here are these big plants everybody's been showing. Fifty dollars though. That's kind of that's kind of crazy to me. For that, you could just get something and spray paint it for way cheaper. All right, so more candles. We have these mossy pine hollow. Oh no, wait. So poison, witch hazel, and deadly nightshade. I like the uh, artwork on these. It's cool. These are like kind of all the candles we saw last time. Ooh, they do have the black flame candle though. That is really cool. Just this, that's $10.99 as well. Ooh. I don't know, I'll keep, keep my eye out for that this year. Um, stack of skulls, that's kind of cool. I wish all of these things weren't candles. They were just like decoration because I'm not gonna burn it. This is cool. This is super like cottage witchy. It's probably, well, witch's garden, so there we go. It's $20 though. I do, do like that look. If it was $10 maybe. Ooh, look at some of the backdrop artwork. I wonder if this is kind of blend to, this is very like gothic style. So I'm interested to see what all they add to that. A couple outdoor things, this broom. The witch is in. Nice, nice. More candles. Again, these are just what we saw last time. <laughs> Skull ones. I do like these little bat ones. All the bleeding drippies. So we have some jack lanterns. This is a black one, black and orange. I like that style though. $10. It's not bad. This one does light up. Ooh. 
sneak peek. <laughs> Actually, that's very similar to what they already have out. There's an orange version. Then we have some stacked ones. I think they had the white ones last year, so now they have orange ones. Big jack-o'-lantern from last year as well. And then these look like crafting ones. So you put like carvable, I would think. Goal outdoor sign. And these are kind of cute. It's a little set of three. This weird little little guy and these little I like this. I wish this was bigger though. Like this is tiny. I don't know. Maybe like a centerpiece on a dining room table or something, make a floral arrangement in it, but otherwise it's kind of small. Alright, so we got more wood cutout things. Too cute to spook. Okay. Bless you. More candles. Man, they are they're hitting the candles hard this year, huh? Candles for everything. It's like little kind of mandala, but also bandana. This is weird. It's part of the hoedown. Palo Santo, though. I do like Palo Santo. Oh, they're both Palo Santo. I wonder if this is part of the the hoedown. Oh my gosh, really, Jenny? Hoedown. Skull with a top hat. Black cat. That's adorable. This is strange. It's a cat, and then that is like a fake candlelight. Yeah, I don't know about that design, my friends. All right, set of three for those. <gasps> this guy, I came for him too. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. $5.99, I mean, look at his little face. It's like got that creepy cute. That's one of the things I'm going for this year. I love it. All right, more cutouts. Oh, okay, this is cool. Spider web. Can or cake stand. This is amazing. I think I might actually be getting this because we almost need twelve ninety nine. And this is pretty big. We got we got this uh, skeleton hand one last year, um, and it's massive. It holds so so much. It's perfect as a utensil holder for the kitchen. Oh, this is cool. Chip and dip plate. Nice bolt. And these are nice. I mean, these are like solid. I don't know ceramic probably. Creepy Curiosities collection. Okay. There's a, a platter with skull face. I guess you could put your veggies or your fruit around the face. We have a big cookie jar. Another bowl with faces all the way around. That's interesting. It's kind of like pearl looking. Shiny. There's... That's the same size cookie jar. It just looks bigger. Um, mug. And then... Oh, place. They have something similar last year with the skull. Ooh, ooh, can you get rum? That's interesting. I like this like little, um, I don't know, dome. I can't remember what they're called, but that is really cute. All right, we have a black version of the, I wish this one was kind of pearly, you know, like, you know, but I wish this one had this, like a shininess. It wasn't so matte, maybe? <laughs> a pumpkin, jack lantern. That's kind of cool. I like, I like the shape of this. And then some more of the candles. This is like an LED one, I believe. $16.99? Are you serious? They had this last year and it was like 10, I think. Maybe 12. Whoa. And then big welcome sign, a skeleton on it. I tell you, prices are going up this year. Jesus. So far that I've seen, these are the three things I honestly just wanted. Everything else looks cool but maybe not necessarily what I'm wanting or needing this year. Let me check out and then we are going to go to there is a Home Goods, a Ross, and a TJ Maxx. And there's also a Tuesday morning down there too, so we're going to try and hit all of those today as well. I'm so so far. I am so excited. We finally found Halloween. I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> all right. Um yeah, I'll see you guys at the next door. Can you see this my friends? My glasses are steaming up. It just rained and it's hot enough that it's causing my glasses to freaking fog up. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, we're here at Ross. Let's go inside. <laughs> okay, so nothing at Ross, which honestly, I'm not super surprised. Even last year, I didn't find much at all at Ross except for those skull planters that I picked up for Claire. But other than that, um, I remember finding like a few things, but not much. So anyway, we're gonna head to we're gonna head to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and people. 
or rude in Kentucky, Jesus. Okay, you guys, so it's only a small section, but honestly, I am, I am not mad at it because it is way more than we've been seeing. I like these glass pumpkins, those are pretty. The gnomes are still around, friends. <laughs> Butters, a bunch of these. These are candles. So a lot of redone, actually, which I guess the, the scalpers didn't come for this morning. Soap containers. Um, oh, look at these. I've seen people posting about these. I'll pick that up. These are like little espresso cups. Oh my gosh. It's freaking adorable. $12.99 for those. Wow, I already have a set of espresso cups, so I don't need more, but if you're looking for them, those are cute. These little, little ghosts. We have some, it looks like, dog costumes. Bunch of wreaths. Ooh, I like that velvet one. $30. I think that's pretty on par for what they normally sell them for, so that's encouraging. And then we have a lot of the little pillows. That was cute. Cat. I like this knitted one. That's cool. Okay. Cool, cool. So in the checkout area, definitely always make sure to check this stuff out. They have some of these like little book things that our storage containers, gnomes, these are cool. I love these like champagne flutes, skeleton hands, pumpkins, this, oh my gosh, look. It's a bowl and a mug set. This is such, that'd be like a cute gift for somebody. $5.99 too, it's actually a really good deal. I think this is a blue sky. Looks like that style. I don't really know. <laughs> um, wreath. Ooh. Do I need more cauldrons? No, but do I love this? Oh, $15 though? Okay. I don't love it that much. I don't love it for $15, but man, this smells amazing. Candles, a few more wreaths. This is cute. That almost goes with like the vintage style I'm doing, but I want to be more like creepy than that. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's like a really nice Dutch oven. That's cool. <laughs> I like this soap. It's blue sky, we see that every year. Right, Tablecloths, they have several like sugar skull Day of the Dead designs. And then these are utensil holders. I have never seen anything quite like this. It's so freaking cute. I just don't do like dinner parties. I'm not fancy enough. But if I did, oh my gosh, these, these would be it, yo. Another little section. We are just hitting gold today, guys. Bowls with this. I love that design. Spider up stands. Look at these. More little espresso cups. I love the pumpkin witch. Oh my god. Looking at the Ouija board cheese plate. Just Snoopy stuff. Cake stand. Or our Disney. <laughs> Ooh, this is different. And this is cute. <gasps> Look at those plates. Plate fine dining plates. That's beautiful. That's just like a nice like dark aesthetic. Kind of plate. Those are twenty dollars. It's a set of four. They're nice. They're heavy too. I tried picking that up. It's very nice. Wow. I'm so I'm impressed so far. We're having a good day, guys. Okay, so they got some table runners. Look at this ghost one. It glows in the dark. Some like rainbow skeletons. And I think this has eyeballs. I'm pretty sure this one glows in the dark too. That's so different. Oh my gosh, I hope that angle was, that was, that angle was all of everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Got real excited and didn't, wasn't paying attention to the camera. So, hope you guys saw that okay. 
We are just winning today. There's so much in the store. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm in the, the kitchen towel section. Psychic reading. This tree one. I remember this from last year. Do you guys remember that? It glows in the dark, I think. These are nice, but look. Look at this. Candy corn, cats, and bats, and witches. Yes, I know I don't need any more towels, but also um, you can never have enough. <laughs> then there's this Ouija board set. There's a couple with like dogs on them. Cute little jack o' lantern skull with flowers. Some ips. Oh, look at this set even. Midge Monster. If you ever see this, this seems like you. This pink and teal, like, and spider webs. Is this calling your name, my dear? Oh my gosh. <laughs> For the blankets, first little section is black with knitted ghosts. I don't really love this black texture personally, but I'm I'm just weird about textures. Cream version of it. Oh, this is so soft. This gray. Oh, it's reversible. That's cute. Oh, this is like very mid-century colors. That's adorable. Ooh, that feels like really thick wool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember this one last year too. Wow, oh, that's a spider rub one. This is beautiful. Sure, that's twenty dollars. That's not bad for that nice thick one. Um. <laughs> Ray Den Lemon, of course. Another one of that. And then we're just to the regular black and white. They do have a nice little fall leaf one, but it's cool. I'm gonna keep looking because, you know, they, they organize it by color, but I like these so far. Pillow explosion. This all just looks like regular summery stuff. All right, so I'm in TJ Maxx and they don't have any Halloween, but they do have the black version of the green duster I got last week. I'm really tempted to buy it because I love dusters. They're just an easy way to make an outfit look cute. And also this like black vine design is super witchy. So anyway, next door. All right, so duster and two towels acquired. I think I'm gonna go to Burlington Coat Factory next because I don't think they'll have decor out, but I know they, at least when I used to shop there, they sell a lot of Betsy Johnson bags, and I just wanna see, I don't need another bag. I really don't. I just wanna see what's out there. I'll show you guys too. Um, and cause she always puts cute, spooky bags out, and last year the whole skull bag went viral, so <laughs> I thought we'd look for it. So let's head to Burlington. So in Burlington, have I found Halloween yet? No again, but also found some Betsy Johnson purses. None of the skull ones, but there's some like children. Some cute designs of hers, but these shoes, my friends, look at these shoes. If they were my size, I would buy them and they're on clearance. Why? Why must I have tiny feet? All right, I'm gonna keep looking. So Burlington did not have anything else. I just kept looking at clothes for way too long, but I did not buy anything, so I'm super proud of myself. <laughs> Last place I want to go to today is Tuesday morning. I want to check out this location, see if they have any more than the one I went to before, like last week. Um, I'm hoping they do, just because I've seen everybody on Tuesday morning seems to be having stuff. Mine had socks and cookie cutters and spatulas. So I, I just want to see the little like cat and owl statues I've been seeing post online. I don't know that they would really fit my decor, but I really want to show you guys because I do think they're cute. So hopefully we'll we'll see some stuff. Um, but yeah, let's uh, head to Tuesday morning. Okay, so they have some more of the socks we saw last time. There's also these like spiderweb fishnet tights. And there's these big packs of socks. I might <laughs> think I might actually get one of these sets. Um, <laughs> I do cardiac rehab and me and one of the rehab therapists, we always like to wear fun socks. So we share each other our socks each day. I'm like, look what I'm wearing. <laughs> so <laughs> that might be fun for me to get those. These are a little bit taller, like crew cut ones. So let's set. These are more cat-like, cat stripes. Ooh, which do I like better? <gasps> look at 
these. Ooh, that's like grungy, very 90s. And then I think we saw these last time. These little shorter ones. I don't know which set should I get you guys? Let me know. I kind of like the, the grunginess of that, but I love, just these are cute. And this pair, I love this pair right here. I must want it for that pair. I don't know, I'm gonna decide, but here's all the socks today. <laughs> so that is everything I saw on Tuesday morning. I did end up getting this pair. I just, oh my gosh, this pair is so cute. It's like neon Halloween. So freaking adorable. And I'm just excited to wear those during cardiac rehab and share, share my cute spooky socks. <laughs> I'm already getting so many looks today. I, for show, I'm wearing the, this is, if you follow Jade the Libra, which I mean, my goodness, if you like Halloween, you better follow the ghoul. Otherwise you are missing out. But she, this is some of her merch from her and her husband, HO7S, but it's their spooky house. And then like on the back, there's um jack-o'-lantern face. So I've definitely gotten some looks and some, uh, oh, oh, we're ready for Halloween, are we? And I'm like, this is a year round look for me. They're like, oh, yeah, it's still summer, still too soon. I'm thinking in my head, like my friend, well, dear ma'am, or sir, no, 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 it is always ready for Halloween time. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Um, I will just see you guys tomorrow and we'll we'll head back out and see, see what we can find. Good morning, everyone. You know, whenever you're watching this, hi. Oliver says hello as well. So today, um, the plan is we're gonna go to Old Time Pottery because I haven't gone to the one here in Cincinnati yet. So I'm gonna check this one out. I'm also going to go to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and it's the good ones that are just a bit outside the city where I had the absolute best luck last year. So I feel like we're gonna see, I'm hoping they're gonna be the ones that are pretty well stocked. Let's just head inside. Also, I've been really loving my makeup and the, uh, the earring and the, I don't know, I'll show you the outfit. I got this all at a thrift store, like, I don't know, four years ago, but it's some of my favorite stuff. Like, look how shiny. Anyway, I'll give you a better look and let's head inside. <laughs> I feel like this is becoming a thing for us where my walking into the store is becoming my alpha of the day thing. All right, so this is honestly, this is a skirt I found. Um, it's, remember back in the day where, you know, they have like the skirts where you wrap over the top? It's like very 2010s kind of skirts. And I always loved them because me being 5'1", I can pull the top all the way up and I wear this as a dress. So this cute little black lacy duster, um, but both thrift store finds. So like less than $10 outfit. So, all right, um, we are here at Old Time Pottery. Let's head inside. Okay, I'm gonna try not to show you double of what I've already shown you. So like stuff that you saw in the last video, I will not show, but if you wanna see that, I'll put it up in the cards as well as in down in the description. So feel free to check that out. These are <laughs> little antenna on the spider. It's these big unraffly spiders, or not unraffly, ones that you can, you know, maneuver. Man, the fur on these creatures, I'm just telling you. I'm crazy looking little rats. They're a bunch of skulls. Which honestly, I mean, these do have movable mouths or movable jaws, so that's kind of cool. But Dollar Tree has them for a dollar. They don't have the, um, moving jaws, but if you're looking for something more like for crafts, check out Dollar Tree. By the way, this is probably not a terrible price for the jaw thing. Tombstones. Okay, there's a massive freaking fan right above me, so hopefully you can hear me. But a couple new pillows, this like countdown Halloween one. I wish there was something where you could like stick it to it, you know, like an advent calendar kind of thing. I think that'd be really cute. There's also, just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And then there's this really fun raven and skull one. That's, that's a really cool piece. I can see, especially if you have darker aesthetic, this would be a cool year round piece. But everything else, my friends, um, I'll show you, but it is literally exactly what I saw last time. Granted, that was a different location, but man, they're definitely trying to get rid of some cleared stuff and summary stuff, so hoping that means it's gonna come a little soon but everything else is literally what we've already seen so this is all getting clearance out so hopefully that means you know more of the old spooky spooks it's coming soon i will keep looking 
everything else I'm seeing so far looks like fall. So, topiaries. There's again the pumpkins with the letters. So if you want to do like monogram your last name or something or initials for your last name, they have both the small ones and the big ones. So, there's that. Yeah, not any other Halloween. So, that's what I have to keep. Oh. I spoke too soon, friends. Okay, this is literally the only other Halloween, but they have, let me turn this around, this is a better view. They have big candy corn ones with the initials. So you could do, you know, your last name initial if you wanted to. It doesn't look like there's anything else for Halloween right now. So we'll just have to keep an eye out. I'm kind of surprised, usually Ultimate Batteries, one of the earlier ones, I know last year, they were definitely one of the earliest, like bigger code orange oranges I had so I'm kind of surprised yep I guess I'm just gonna head out and I'll see you at home goods fingers crossed because this is usually the real good location so I'm feeling lucky today okay I'm here at home goods PG Max is right there y'all it's kind of become like a gloomy rainy day and I'm gonna take that as like the best sign ever because when we went to at home it rained and we found Halloween so I'm expecting all can I see it I think I see it it's gnomes. I see spooky gnomes, but hey, spooky. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> you guys, it's here. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Okay, let me let me just start at the end. So a bunch of floral and all that kind of stuff. Got some rig done for anybody interested in those. That's a massive skull right there. The, the little, the teapot. Or no, it's actually more like a, a little watering thing, you know, watering can. I like that too. Um, ooh, that is like a rustic little witch thing. That's kind of cool. Big old branchy trees. These massive witches. Okay, let me, let me turn this around. Just for side reference. I mean, granted they are on maybe six inches of the shelf. They are, they are near my height. Like, we could be twins, right? You know, I don't have my warts yet. They haven't come in yet, but I'm expecting it any day now. So I'm twinning, basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> Family. Family resemblance, do you see it? <laughs> okay, let me continue showing you guys stuff. They have some more of these, like the books for storage cut out. This is kind of cool. I like, this is a little bit more teal in person than such a aqua blue, but Some of these things look familiar from last year, I will say. I remember those from last year too, those big skulls. Massive jack-o'-lantern. Um, it's a cool little skeleton bowl. Got our gnomies, of course. This house, oh my gosh, this is, this is actually really cool. So this is really cool. Um, Grab the mirrors, grab the mirrors, please. It Thank does you. light up, it looks like. This is cool. I might actually get this. I don't love the glitter though. There's more stacks of jack o' lanterns. These little dolls, we saw these last year. Our nose. This is cute. Little metal stack. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. These glasses, these are fun. You don't see purple stuff very often. Ooh, $8 each though. That's pretty. A different take on spooky stuff. Muggies, if you're looking for them, that's cute. This is fun. I saw this on the website. I almost bought it, but I have so many mugs. Espresso cups are cute. There's a lot of people in here today. It's just kind of hard. Ooh. That's pretty. These little containers. This is cute. Ghosties. Different plates. Those are fun. We've not seen those yet. Are these 
Oh my god, it's the pumpkins. Okay, I gotta put the phone down. Hold on a second. They have these jack o' lantern dinner plates. They're hard, they're like nice. $16.99. I'm getting these. I, I remember seeing this on the Facebook group and being like, oh my gosh, my husband actually really liked them too, so that's a win. And we could always use some nice plates. I'll see what else I find, but I might put the house back. Although this is so cute, it's, I just don't like the glitter, you know? <laughs> Good variety, these are cute little bowls right here. $12.99 for that. That's cute, so excited about these plates. I hope you guys can hear me. I might have to do a voiceover if you can't. <laughs> oh, they got some Charlie Brown Thanksgiving stuff. If I find a Charlie Brown Halloween, like last year they had the little containers for them. I'm gonna buy those because I love Charlie Brown. <laughs> Especially when it's the great pumpkin. That was the longest announcement ever. Anyway, okay, so I found these candles in the candle section rather than the actual decor section. So a whole bunch of different ones. These are like little mason jars, but they hold candles. So definitely check that out. Spooky, spooky blankets, jack lanterns Ray down stuff. Ghosty pillows. Those match those blankets we saw the other day. Um, this is this is kind of cute. Pups. Oh, just an orange, orange, white, and black. That's kind of cute. Very classic. There's like a million sounds today. What is going on? Okay. That's. This is cute. I saw this on the website. I really do like it, but I'm trying to not get any pillows. The only pillow I want is there's one that says spooky on it. A bunch of leaves and stuff. That's the one I want this year. I'm holding myself to it. Just one pillow. <laughs> Those are really pretty. Ooh, okay. There's some more stuff near the checkout. So let's go. Oh, oh gosh. I thought this was the spooky one. Ooh, that's soft though. Oh my God. It's a fox. Oh my god, it's another fox. This is more of a fox. That's probably a different fox. <laughs> Creeping it real, friends. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Oh, this is what I've been keeping out for. Not this design, but it's an oversized outdoor blanket. And I've seen people find ones with um, skulls on it and other spooky designs. So that's something I'm keeping an eye out for. Okay, so this is what I saw from outside. I saw the tops of the little gnome hats, so gnomes are still here. This is kind of cute. I like the kind of creepy cute face to it. I like this matte black with the gold. It's actually really cool. What should I do, friend? Should I get this house? I suppose I can always get it and bring it back if I really decide I don't want it. This is really cute though. It would kind of fit in with like maybe some creepy cute orange and black. Some more cute pillows. More like the little ones. Here's more of these utensil holders. So these are like napkin utensil holders. Ghost is cute. Black and white with little witch, witch legs. And then, oh look at this dude. Little vampire one. That's kind of cute. Many else is no me, it looks like. Hmm. Okay, so I bought the plates and the house. It's just so cute. Also, I have a receipt. I said I don't want to return it. I can. But um, let's head into. Oh, out of breath. Let's head into TJ Maxx and see if we find anything here. So yeah, that was a drastic change. They have zero. Like not not even a pumpkin. Like not even a fall item. <laughs> but I think what I'm gonna do now, since I did through all this pretty quickly, I think I'm gonna go to the Home Goods TJ Maxx Marshall all in one building that I went to last week. Check them out, see if they have anything. Because last week they did not have anything. We're heading to the other um Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshall, like I said. Um, I thought I'd chat along the way. There, um, when I was checking out at Home Goods, where I found the plates in the house, 
there was this group of like three ladies that were checking out right in front of me and they bought two baskets worth of Halloween stuff and spent like $450. Which is crazy because it's like when I saw the Halloween stuff I was like this is pretty good. There's definitely some spots where it looked like either just hadn't been filled up and I thought maybe they just didn't have everything. No, I think these ladies bought like, the, apparently there's like a candy corn pillow they found. Um, they bought a lot of Ray Dunn stuff, which I'm really hoping they're not resellers because that would just make me sad. But I think they weren't because they said they came all the way from Kentucky, um, which geez, this location would be at least an hour. I think they were doing it as like gifts to family and friends. I think they actually genuinely liked Halloween and it was, it was like their thing. They weren't doing it for the money. That's what I'm taking it as and that's what I'm hoping. And we'll just, <laughs> oh my gosh, slow down. <laughs> we're good. So yeah, that's what I'm taking it as. I'm really hopeful that's what it is, but they bought so much stuff and I was kind of wanting to like, what did you, what did you get? I just want to see what was available, you know? They, and they were looking at my cart and they saw the little haunted house. They're like, oh my gosh, we missed that. And I'm like, well, thank goodness you did because it's the one thing I got. Well, plus the plates. I was just blown away. I was just blown away. Because, I mean, I know I spend a lot. And I, this year I'm definitely trying to do better. Um, I probably shouldn't have got the house. But it, I really like it. I have the receipt. I can return it if need be. I've said that three times. So I'm letting myself know I can return it. <laughs> but... I'm doing a lot better this year, I think, than compared to previous years because I have so much stuff now. As so I'm really, really trying to be selective to what I add to my collection, and I'm really mostly just looking for, I see, more practical, everyday, year-round stuff. So those plates, year-round for me. For the actual Halloween decor, I'm looking for more like the creepy retro stuff, kind of like the little, the dude I showed you in my um, let's talk about Halloween 2022 chat. Did I showed you a little creepy dude holding the like, little popsicle, holding the little like lollipop. Um, he had like the creepy smile, kind of kind of Jack Skellington esque. Um, so I'm going for a lot of stuff like that, kind of circusy, but not like overtly circusy. Cut. Get over. Get over. Let's get over. Get over. Thank you so much. People need to learn to drive. And then if there is something that like really speaks to me and I know I can use as like an everyday decor thing, okay. Other than that, I'm trying to be good. So I don't know, I was just, I, I can understand they're like, oh my gosh, I need everything because I totally feel that. <laughs> but it was just like two cards, $450. Oh, my bank account was hurting watching them spend that. It was just, it was impressive. She's she put it on two different credit cards. She's like, you know, otherwise my husband's going to go crazy. And I'm like, well, I know that feeling, girlfriend. That was last year. It's for me. Anyway, though, how's everyone doing this week? Finding fun making any crafts? I'm really wanting to do more crafts this year, more DIY decor, just because I really love that kind of stuff. I feel like it may not look as fancy, but when you put so much like heart and soul and time and energy into something, I feel like you connect with it more than just something you buy. Maybe that's just me as a crafter and I <laughs> really enjoy stuff like that. If you are too, I feel like some of you are. I feel like some of you guys is crafty. Um, let me know. Are you working on any projects? I would love to know what you're up to. I haven't, besides like making some witch hats with Claire, like we're going to try and like get some hats and make them, you know, get some witch hats and really, really do them up. Other than that, I don't, I don't have any specific, I got a lot of sewing to do. I've got a lot of sewing to do. Other than that, I don't have any other specific projects just yet. If you got something, let me know. I'm always just curious to see what people are working on. It's, I don't know, it kind of inspires me to work on things or like, you know, make something click in your mind. Like, ooh, that's cool. I could maybe do something similar in this way. You know, but crafty people, I think you get it. You can find inspiration in different places. So, um, yeah, let me know. Please comment if you're working on stuff. I would, I would love to hear what you're doing. Oh, also, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, yesterday morning, Bath and Body Works put out um, a like members only thing on their website. So it's like a, a members only like sneak peek preview thing of Halloween. So they didn't do the full Halloween drop that they've previewed so far. 
it's gonna come out on the 18th, but they did do like, I don't know, maybe half of a drop. They did, I think, I think all the candles, all the soaps, um, I don't know if I saw any hand sanitizers actually. They had several of the pocket back holders. They did not have the cat one, which I really wanted, um, but they did have the Raven Globe. The Raven like snow globe that lights up and plays music. I'm, that was like the one piece I really wanted. There's others that are super cute, but I just, I can't buy as much this year. So the Raven Globe was the one I, I kind of splurged on because I will use that year round. I will find a way. It's birds, I love birds and it's spooky. And like, I love the edging on it. It's very, very pretty. So I got that, I got, and then I had some rewards. So I used it on, um, I, <laughs> there was like the, um, what is it? skeleton face like skulls they glow in the dark and like the metal on it, it's like this rainbow oil slick kind of I thought that was cute I, I would use that year round or that would even be like a spring candle holder for me just because of the fun colors I got that and then oh I got their little Halloween bag it's like their gift bag but it's this I don't know nice thick plasticky bag that always has fun decorations I've got it the last two years and so it feels like tradition for me it's like six dollars Again, I had some rewards, so I just used it on that and the Skull Candle Holder. I'm really hopeful that the Raven Globe arrives in one piece. I'm I'm really nervous because last year I got the hand and it did come a bit a little little janky broken. I made it work. I fixed it. Um, and I did get a refund on it. They were actually very nice about it. I feel bad for them. I mean, they should have done better with the packing, but so many people's items came real broken. But... Yeah, so they did do that. It was only for one day, so like as of this morning, it's already gone. It's on the website. But everything does drop on the 18th. Um, I have seen some people are finding at least the pocket back holders in their stores, so definitely check those. I, I have found, for, at least from my personal experience, the locations that are like in the malls or connected to a white barn tend to do better as far as having product, um, especially back holders or just having things out earlier or having a better selection of product. Um, the 18th is what it's all supposed to drop. I think it drops both online and in stores. If you are doing it online, their website updates at 6 a.m. Eastern, so that's when it should drop. I will say this last one, um, it didn't actually get on there till like maybe 6.15 or 6.20. And which is crazy because I woke up at 5 45 a.m. and was like, let's go. I'm gonna get this. I'm I'm doing this. Because I didn't know what all they were gonna have on there. They didn't have the hand, they didn't have um, the tree, they didn't have the eyeball, which I didn't really want all those things. They're really cute, adorable, so I'm sad for people who did want them. Okay, well, we're here. I'm gonna park uh, and I'll just I'll catch you inside. I'm chatty today, y'all. I hope you're enjoying it. You said you did, so. It's what you get in. <laughs> you asked for this. Press this rating. I forgot my umbrella in the car. I'm not going back for it, so. <laughs> we should need luck. Okay, so I don't, haven't checked the shelves yet, but I just walked past this. A whole bunch of gnomes. Pillows. Mostly lots of pillows and candles. Lots of candles. <laughs> Okay, for blankets, nice. This is nice, thick material. It's really, really soft, too. And they have a different dog one. I think this is different than what we just saw. Um, skeleton Yoga. Again, I'm pretty sure we saw that one last year. Yeah. That's it of these so far. I'll keep looking. A whole bunch of canisters. It's kind of... Blackened glass with black lid, frosted, and just clear, and then only black jack lantern. Those are fun. Same mirror, different week. Another cute fit. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I don't know how I missed this whole row before. There is. These are really cute. These are um, placemats. That one. And they have these more plasticky ones. Oh, shiny raver skull. <laughs> Our towel selection for today. These are must be a big thing this year. I have never seen utensil holders like this. 
was a mantle scarf. You little spooky house scene. I feel like we've seen a good bit of these already. I think at the last home goods. Oh, that must glow in the dark. Yeah. Glow in the dark. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Spooky cats. Spooky cats. And spooky dogs. We just got the whole pets, whole pet situation happening. Different pumpkins. Another yoga skeleton. <laughs> this is the pillows so far. I didn't see any other spooky pillows. <gasps> Witch blades. Oh my goodness, Claire. I found them. I might show you them, see if you want. Hey, look. They got more of these though. That's cool. Got a whole bunch of these. That is adorable. Hmm, I like it. Oh, look. Skeleton pumpkin guy. I think I saw this last year. He's really cute. That's what we have so far. And then, you know, glasses selection, of course. Really cute. Alright, y'all, so I'm really not mad at that. We have like an actual, like, half row. Stuff. I'm gonna call that a win. So, let's head up to uh, TJ Maxx. There's, you know what? Michael's is right here. Let's go to Michael's. Let's see. I see some fall flowers. There might be at least some some spooky wreath stuff. I don't know. Let's go see. Okay, hopefully you can hear me and not the Maroon 5 in the background. They just have pumpkins and flowers, bunch of fall floral. I don't see any other like Halloween wreath stuff or anything quite yet, so. But they are starting to really clearance out all their summer stuff, so. <laughs> Progress. <laughs> Alright, so I did not see anything in TJ Maxx. But, you know what, today's been an awesome day. We found some good stuff. I think this is gonna be it for today, but I will pick up on Monday, and that'll be the last of this video, but I know this video is gonna be long, you guys, but also we have found so much Halloween that I don't know. I think it's worth it. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, let me know if you like these long style videos or you rather me cut it down and do just a couple days at once. I don't know, I like putting everything I'm seeing in a week in a video for you guys so you can kind of get an idea of like how quickly stuff is coming out what we're seeing this time of year blah 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 blah, blah. anyway <laughs> just let me know what you like but i'm gonna finish up today because if you tell it's starting to <laughs> it's starting to rain so i think i'm gonna finish up today but yeah we'll see you guys on monday hopefully we're just gonna keep on finding the goods <laughs> So for my third day, I actually went and hung out with Claire. So I videotaped stuff, but I'm just gonna play some music over it because she and I were talking the whole time, just kind of chatting about stuff. So I'll show you what we find. And then at the end, we'll do a haul of what we found for the whole week. So enjoy.
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me go over what I got this week. So from the first time I went to at home, I got the little basin. It is a little glittery, um, but I just keep it on a shelf next to like my crystal skull, so um, I don't really have to worry about touching it. It actually doesn't come off my hands too bad, so that's nice. I also got the welcome my pretties sign. I love this. I have this right on my TV stand. So when you come right into the house, you see it. <laughs> it goes really well with all my like everyday witchy decor. I also got this little guy because this is totally going to uh, match with what I want to do for my mantle, which is kind of like creepy cute. So really excited for him. He was only like $5.99 too. So if, especially if at home comes out with more stuff like this, I'm going to be super, super excited to, to look at that. The other thing I got from that trip was this canister. So I really love it. It's a nice big size like I showed you in the store. Um, I have the one from last year that's the little skeleton hand that wraps around it. And I love it. So this kind of goes with it. It's the exact same colors, just spider web instead of skeleton. But these are a nice big size. So I have one of these. I have the skeleton. So two of these, it holds all the utensils I need for cooking really, really well. And as someone who really loves to cook and has so many kitchen gadgets and, and utensils like way more than I need these are actually a really really good size so if you're someone who loves to loves to cook it up in the kitchen I highly recommend those because they're a bigger size than you would find normally for a utensil holder so that was a really just wonderful plus overall okay so when I went to the uh home goods they had all the really good stuff I did get the Halloween oh my gosh the pumpkin plates. Oh, that looks so off-center. Well, let me show. Okay, so this is what the plates look like. It's just a nice, really, really pretty black, um, I don't know what you would call that. Baroque? No, Baroque is music. <laughs> I can't think of what this is called. Damask? Damask? Maybe? Um, that with the, like, jack-o'-lantern, the witch hat on it is so, so pretty. I thought these would make for, like, nicer dinner plates or just honestly an everyday plate for me. I think they're really cute and they're really good quality. So I'm really excited to see some darker ones because a lot of times you see the white ones with all the skulls and stuff, which is cool, but it just doesn't really fit with a lot of the decor and my kitchen stuff already. So I was really excited to see some darker ones. I also did end up getting the house. I just really love this. I mean, the shape of the roof and like the witch outside and the colors of it are very, it's just like orange and black. This is gray, but I'm doing like an orange, black and white mantle this year. So I think this is gonna fit really well into that design. Um, and it kind of has a little bit, I mean, it's more Victorian than vintage, but I think the style is kind of vintage-y. So I really, really like this. <laughs> His trees, it does light up. Actually, let me I put some batteries in it. And if you can see, it changes color, so it is a multicolor light. But it goes green and blue, purple and red. So I just thought it was really fun and playful. And the witch on the front with her spell book, cauldron. It's just some really, really cute details. So I'm really happy I, I did end up getting this. And even Craig was like, yeah, that'll fit in really well with it. And I was like, yes, it totally would. <laughs> okay, and then the day that I hung out with Claire, um, we went to Home Goods TJ Maxx, um, and then we went to At Home, and then we also did step by Cracker Barrel, but Cracker Barrel didn't have any other Halloween stuff out yet, so I'm not sure what day that they're supposed to, but I'll, I'll kind of keep checking back. There's nothing from there that I particularly want, but I'd love to show you guys because it looks like they do have some, some cute stuff this year, so I'll keep an eye out for that for you guys. But I did get a couple of things at, at home. Skull bottles. I saw these right when we were getting ready to leave. They were putting these shelves out, and I felt so terrible going over there and getting video and like picking a few out, but I was just like, um, I really love these. So the first one is this green one and you can see it's really iridescent. So as the, as it, you turn it and the light hits it, it goes to kind of like purpley blue, little bits of orange. I just thought it was so different. I love the iridescent. Orange is the same way. It's orange and then it goes kind of purple blue, has that luster iridescence to it. 
I just think it's really, really cool. I'm actually gonna have this on my plant shelf. Um, I have a little yellow glass mister. Um, let me see, honestly, let me see if I can turn you. There's a tiny little house up there and a green bottle. I don't know if you can see. That shelf right there, I have my little mister, the little house, another green bottle. So I think both the orange and the green next to it. I really like those up there. That's where I've been keeping them since I got it, actually. <laughs> so those will be year-round pieces for me. I really like them. <laughs> Okay, so that is everything for this week. I know it was definitely a long video, but we found a ton of stuff. If you guys are liking this link, please do let me know if you'd prefer something smaller or if you'd prefer me to like do it in two pieces, so like two videos of hunting a week. If they're longer like this, let me know. Just kind of what your preference is. I don't know if everybody wants to sit and watch like I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour long video um, each week, or if you prefer two videos that are like each 20 to 25 minutes. So let me know in the comments what your preference is, um, just so kind of, I know what, what you guys are interested in seeing. But yeah, I definitely know this video. This week's video was a little bit longer, um, but I did hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, do consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. The cats are going crazy. You'll be notified every single time I upload. We do these Halloween decor hunting videos at least once a week on the channel. We also do lots of other fun crafting and foodie things on the channel, so you definitely don't want to miss out on anything. Thank you guys again for all your support. You know, I really, really do appreciate it. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs>